It's not as old as Cologne Cathedral, but it's been an institution for 45 years. Art Cologne is the oldest trade fair of its kind in the world. Just a few years ago, its fortunes were fading, but under new management and with a stronger vision, it's back on track. Collectors, galleries and visitors have been flooding to the South Forum for art of the classical modernity, the post-war period and contemporary art. In 2012, top New York gallery David Zwerner is part of the show for the first time, headed by the son of the man who founded the trade fair, Rudolf Zwerner. I still think there's a massive potential here in Cologne. Lots of collectors, the wonderful Ludwig Museum, great galleries, and Germany needs a trade fair city, and Cologne is in the heart of Germany and in the heart of Europe. So I hope that it will continue to grow and become an important trade event again. Kirchner, Baslitz, Gensken and Warhol. Anyone wanting to admire or buy the works of these artists was always in the right place at Art Cologne. But the organizers want more. The New Art Dealers Alliance, or NADA for short, is putting on its own trade show within the trade show. It's a bid to showcase the avant-garde and win international recognition. Whether it will be a success remains to be seen, says Henrik Hanstein, head of Cologne auction house Lempertz. It's easy to agree on what's really good, apart from when it comes to the latest contemporary art, then it's difficult. To know that, you have to have the right instinct. Several German galleries are testing the waters. Gallery Christian Nagel from Berlin is promoting young artist Miriam Thorman with the help of public subsidies. Dusseldorf Gallery Konrad Fischer is presenting art that's no easier to sell. Artist Jürgen Stark manipulates the telephone numbers of companies daubed on the walls of buildings in China. Illegal advertising, which as a public nuisance is painted over as quickly as possible. Was aber dazu führt, dass um what happens is that the many layers create a purely aesthetic painting, and you can see them here. They're posted, applied directly to the wall, not framed, just stuck on. New art and classics, in the right proportions and internationally relevant. That's the concept that's supposed to make Art Cologne the number one art fair destination worldwide. Art Cologne director Daniel Hug won't stand for anything else.